shouldn't count for a review, but I've just been really itching for a reason to do them. So here we go with Beast Wars Transmetals Stink Bomb. So here's a character you'll never hear from again. This is Stink Bomb from Beast Wars Transmetals, which this is also my very first Transmetals review as well. And what is Transmetals again? Um, well, it was this period in Beast Wars when they couldn't think of anything else to do, so why not start incorporating metal stuff into the animal? See, in the original Beast Wars, there were the an the robots looked like robots, and the alt moles were looking looked like animals. Well, in Transmetals, they kind of switched that around and made the animals look a little bit more metallic, and the robots looked a little bit more organic, as you can see here with the uh, fuzzy um, back fuzzy back behind with the big white stripe down it. <laughs> hint, hint. Then he's got the uh, beast-looking claw claws for feet and the uh, beast hands on his shoulders here and a little bit of fur here and there. His face even is, as you can see, is a little bit more bestial as well. And then he's got the tail sticking up, coming out of his head, which is a bit strange. But what, but what a head sculpt that is. He looks like some sort of crazy masquerading rocker from the 80s. And about that sizable golden mo mohawk. I can't really tell how it's supposed to go. Is it supposed to be like a mohawk sort of like that? Or is it supposed to go down or, or up or I don't know? How do you prefer it? He's also got these seemingly useless orange caps that kind of flip up in, for no apparent reason other than just to cover this, you know, maximal sign over here on his shoulder here. Which, that's, that's another thing. This seems like kind of an odd choice for a Maximal. Usually the Decepticons are the jerk, stinky, you know, retarded group uh, group of robots, and the Maximals are the brave, heroic bunch of good fellas. Seems like a, well, whatever this guy turns into shouldn't be a Maximal. But, uh, eh, you know, they have a rat after all. He's really well articulated, too. He's got ball-jointed uh, hips and knees and ankles and shoulders and uh, elbows, and his head moves quite well. And uh, this mohawk, as you can see, is actually quite poseable as well. So, and then the back pelt just kind of swings around back there, so that's cool too, I guess. So that means this guy can get some pretty rock and pose. He also can stand on one foot if you need him to, because of his uh, giant beast paws. He also fits in quite nicely with modern day scout figures, figures as well, which is a neat bonus. So robot mode, yeah, pretty cool. But then beast mode happened. Maximize! So here's Stink Bomb in beast mode, and it's a skunk. So Stink Bomb looks properly horrifying, as a cyborg skunk should be, and it actually pleases me. I mean, look at him. He looks like some sort of hell beast with a forked tail. As far as transformation goes, it doesn't really feel like a transformation and more of just a switching him around and folding him backwards sort of weight deal, but I can get into it. It's not that bad. It's definitely not difficult. And once you're done, you're surprisingly done with a pretty neat beast mode, actually. It is pretty cool. And as you can see here, as I mentioned earlier, with the uh, robotic sort of bits showing here and there, that's the whole trade thing for trans, uh, trans metals. You know, maybe it's just me, but I find the whole idea of a metal skunk sort of strange. But uh, I've also heard that Beast Wars has gotten a lot more Stranger Things out of there, so... I actually feel like I've been spared some sort of humiliation having to review something even stranger than this right here. But if you can think of anything worse and more horrifying, please let me know and comment below this video so I can find out. But uh, yeah, that's Beast Month, and this is Stink Bomb. Tune in next week with another Beast Wars video, and until next time, I'll see you later.